Hey everybody, it's uh, me, Super Paul Games. How y'all doing? As you can see here, I want to play me some Crusader Kings 2. But before I do, I'm going to go on a little small speech. If you would like to skip ahead of that to the gameplay, I'm sure somebody will leave a time marker in the comments when you can start. Firstly, I'd like to thank Loud Goat. Uh, back during the Steam Summer Sale, Loud Goat tw tweeted me. And he was like, CK2's on sale, and so I went and got it. Thank you, Loud Goat. And then I'd also like to say, this is going to be an experimental LP. I don't know if I'm going to finish it or not. I'm going to try to, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, yeah. For any of you wondering, the DLCs I am using are Legacy of Rome, Ruler Designer. Apparently I can't read my own writing. I thought it said Ruler Daughter. Uh, Song of Yuletide, Sons of Abraham, The Old Gods and Way of Life. Uh, the last thing I want to mention, if you want to leave any comments, I mean, obviously you can comment if you want, but feel free to comment if you're like, hey, you can do this in the game, because I don't know everything in the game. This isn't going to be an excellent LP, so don't watch this expecting me to be like a kick-ass guy at this. There's going to be bumbling and stumbling and failing, which hopefully kind of works for the character we're making. Uh, if you do leave comments saying, hey, I'd like to see you try this, I can't promise I'll get to it if I do, cool, if I don't, please don't scream in the comments, though, because I've had a couple different LPs I've done of late where someone's like, you should try this, and I, either I don't do it because I don't want to, or whatever reason, and then, like, three videos later, every every comment is, ah, look at what I said! Sorry, that's the annoying, all right, kids, I'm going to turn the bus around, but enough of that butt shit. We're going to start... In the olden times, of course. Choose your starting era. Crusader Kings 2 spans a period of almost 700 years. That's a hell of a time to have a period. Man, the cramping must be terrible. Choose where in the timeline you want your game to start. We're going to start in the Viking Age, because I don't have the Charlemagne DLC. The Minnesota Vikings. Not as cool as the Detroit Lions. By the middle of the 19th century, the Norse raiders and adventurers known as the Vikings had already begun to set their indelible mark on the map of Europe, establishing realms in Russia and the British Isles, and traveling and raiding as far as the Black Sea and the Mediterranean. There's a very strong chance in real life that uh, I have Viking ancestors. The Carline rulers, descendants of Charlemagne, ruled mighty realms in France, Germany, and Italy, while the Muslim religion was now firmly established in Spain under the Umayyads, you mad bros. The Byzantine Empire held on though suffering under the increasing pressure from the Caliphate and the Bulgarians. I got a Bulgarian in my pants. West of the fractured steps, uh, the Magyars were poised to make their claim on the Carpathian Basin. Islam was spreading rapidly like a whore in Persia. I pause there, because anything I see in this game, I'm just making jokes. I'm not really trying to take a shot at anybody's religion. I don't want anybody to blow me up. Blow me, maybe. Where was I? Islam was spreading rapidly like a whore in Persia under the rulers of the Safarids and had penetrated, oh yeah, they penetrated it deep into the Indus Valley. Stop penetrating me, Islam. Further east, the Hindu Paratiara dynasty was expanding. I'm sorry to anybody from India. In fact, I have some really good friends from India. <laughs> They're going to be like, idiot, why can't you pronounce anything? So let's go to custom game. Oh, we can move the map like this. I'm doing it, everybody. I can move a map. So I can be any of these cum nuts, but I don't want to be. I want to start out as a count. We want to be someone low. So let's look at the realms map. You can see here West Francia, Aquitaine, East Francia. Uh, England's pretty broken up. Man, well, they must really love Wales. They gave them a really poo color. So what we can do is we can go right here to pick Iron Man mode or not. We're not going to pick Iron Man mode. Just I'm going to play this game Iron Man. We're playing Iron Man. I'm not going to use Iron Man mode, though, in case a save crashes and I need to revert to something. And all we have to do right here is hit a random button, and we're going to get a random character. Wait. <laughs> Where the hell is that? Okay, they want us to be... Oh, County of Sofia. Alright there. In Bulgaria. Well, I did say... Man, we're gonna be right on the border of the Byzantine Empire. This might be a short-ass episode. <laughs> what religion would we be? 
We would be orthodox. All right, we'll go with that. We're going to change this guy up, though. Look at that fatty. Oh, you like your Twinkie's fatty McFat face? All right, I'm going to make our character, as apparently I moved the map all over the place. I like that, though. Chief Dan of Sophia. It's just like a regular dude. Who are you? Chief Dan. That's me. All right, this is what our guy is going to look like. It's, uh, we're gonna change his name, but I like that. He's kind of, oh, maybe I should have picked different clothes. I just realized he's wearing, like, a robe. Well, well, whatever. He's like, he's like a freaking Jedi. Or he's really lazy. He's like, yeah, I just woke up. What do you expect? I'm Chief Whoever of uh, Sophia. We're gonna change his coat of arms. I like that symbol, but can we make it look more badass? Kind of reminds me of the Ultimate Warrior, to be honest. Oh, I like the blue. Maybe if we get a red center? Oh, I like white. <laughs> I like, I'm like, no, I want it to look like this. Well, the black's kind of shitty. Alright, let's try the white there, and maybe we'll try... I don't know what number is black. Come on, game. Give me some black, bitch. Oh, there we go. Now, I want the red and blue. It's kind of festive. Ooh, not that. That was a better red. These are the important decisions you have to make. Ooh, I like the all blue. All right, we're going with that. Fuck it. These are the stats, obviously. We're going to change his name, first of all. Let's see, he's down in Bulgaria. What's a good Bulgarian name? I was going to call him, like, Dick Sucker, like my other LPs, but I don't know. That seems like a more French name. What? I mean, I didn't, I'm sorry to offend Dick Suckers. I mean, French people. <laughs> now, that would be what? Dick Sucker. Maybe it's more English. I don't know. I'm, I'm just digging myself a bigger hole. Well, I want his name... Oh, I like the topolis. Dick top polis. Yeah, I love that. Dan Dictopolis. <laughs> yes, I'm going with that name. He's just the chief. He's a regular dude. It's not a big area. Yeah, I'm a regular dude. All right, he's gonna have. He's not gonna be married. He's not gonna have any sons or daughters to start with. We're not gonna affect his. Uh, health. Obviously, um, here are his other stats. You can read those. Uh, if you hadn't noticed, too, is I, I'm playing this in a 1280 by 720 resolution. You're like, oh, that's great commentary, Super Bowl. I love resolutions. I'm very resolute about resolutions. The reason I'm doing that is twofold. It's a little easier on my computer for recording, but for watching it on YouTube, if you have a smaller monitor, it's easier to read. So, if you've watched other CK2 ones and the screen looks a little more expansive, uh, I'm sorry this is a little more tight. Ooh, I like it tight. Uh, but that's why. So let us go to edumacation. They want him to start as an amateur plotter, but no, we need to make a story for this guy. Who is Dan? Dan has got to be like a regular dude, right? Uh, some of these stats, uh, see if they have a red number. Really good stats will make you a lot older. Really bad stats will make you younger. That's kind of how they balance if you pick a good stat or not. So, let us kind of look through here. I don't, he's not a priest. <laughs> Maybe he should be a detached priest. Maybe those are his, like, robes. Or he just wears robes to church. He used to be a priest and he's not anymore. You know, God said some stuff. Uh, he said a lot of stuff. Yeah, you know, it's all right, I think. <laughs> what is it in the Orthodox religion? It's probably not father like Catholic, is it? They're like, priest, I had sex with my mother, and I ran my horse over my dad. Yeah, well, that'll happen. Isn't God mad at me? I don't know. <laughs> You're all right, probably. Oh, I would like to be a little more concrete about my eternal soul. What are you going to do? <laughs> Dan the Detached Priest. <laughs> Dan Dictopolis, the world's worst priest. All right. Let's get him some traits. Oh, I can make him a hunchback. 
It's gonna be a hunchback. <laughs> yes! He's gonna be a motherfucking hunchback. Yes! I love it! Uh... Because of all these negative things we picked, I can probably pick some really good bonuses for him. Like, maybe he's a genius. No, that's not. he's not a genius or quick. He's just fucking Dan. We're not going to make him slow. I, I don't think that's fair. We're not going to make him imbecile, imbecile or inbred. Strong's kind of cool. Weak is not. Hedonist? I think he's too lazy to be. Scholar's not bad. What about gardener? Oh, we'll make him a gardener. He likes to just put around his garden. <laughs> like priest. Um, <laughs> I, t I slapped my child today and he's like, yeah, dude, look how my potatoes are coming in. He's a gardener. <laughs> he's not going to be an impaler or a duelist. His kids might be. His kids might be asses. I want him to be a poet, too. He's going to be a poet that writes poems about his potatoes. <laughs> oh, to red potato. Oh, he's got to be a falconer, too. And you know why? Falcon power! Blah! Some of you will understand that. Some of you won't. If not, watch, um... What is it? Uh, the queen one I did. It's not going to be temperate or greedy. We're going to make him honest. Really? No, I don't know. I don't want him to be a liar, but maybe he's like that kind of guy who's just too honest. Do I look fat in this? Yeah. What? Well, you, you do. You asked me. <laughs> yeah, he's going to be honest. I like that. Um, architect? Oh, I've never even seen that before. I think that'll probably be good. And we're, we're going to bump up some of his stats then while we're at this. Because he's only 16. Because we picked some funky stats. I love Dan the Detached Priest who likes to garden. He's got a hunched back. Probably from gardening so much. He likes to write poetry about his potatoes. He's got a falcon. He probably called his falcon potato. And he's honest. So we'll just bump up his stewardship a little bit. Maybe his intrigue. And his diplomacy. So he's age 20. No, we're gonna make him a little older than that, right? We'll knock up his health some too. Why not? We want to make him a little older in life. Yeah, 26 is alright. Make him a little more fertile. Okay, 29. 29 is perfect. He's just on the edge of becoming 30. He, you know, he's getting closer to midlife. Dan Dictopolis, Chief of Sophia. Let's play the game. Hopefully we don't get killed on the first turn after all this setup. Man, I love Dan, of Dicto Dan Dictopolis of, uh... I called it Dictopia. It's Sophia. Uh, I'm enjoying a giant drink. Actually, I'm drinking some vodka right now. And Dan Dictopolis would love it, because it's made out of potatoes. In Crusader Kings 2, you play as a succession of medieval rulers from a single dynasty. There is no set goal. Oh, I can just sleep. But the world is filled with ambitious rivals. Dan doesn't seem very ambitious. Secure more lands, increase your power, and protect your family. My potatoes? Someone wants my potatoes? You cannot hold infinite lands... A month to land to yourself. To expand, you'll need to rely on vassal rulers. Keep them happy with titles, tittles, and gifts, lest they decide to revolt. The game will end in 1452, if your line can stay in power that long. Dare you question me, game? And you can see up over here, that's kind of the concept of the game. Is you can own a small handful of direct territories. These are obviously territories, these little areas. We can own three territories before we start to get... Um, negative effects. Over here is how many vassals we can have. I believe that's the vassal one. And those are people who, like, you take over a territory and you put someone else in charge. And they pay you taxes and they send troops to fight in your wars, but they can revolt against you. Because they're revolting. And that, that's kind of the, the fun dynamic of the game. If you're not familiar with it, most of you probably are, is that very quickly you can have a situation where you're the king and you have lots of vassals and the vassals combined are more powerful than you, so you've got to kind of play politics to keep them enough of them happy. As a ruler, your first priority is to secure an heir. It means make some babies, Dan Dictopolis! If you do not have a legitimate heir when your character dies, the game will end. Game over, man! Other pressing matters appear as alerts um, along the top of the screen. Crusader Kings 2 is a possible real-time game. This means that you can issue commands. 
I think they mean me. I don't think you actually could. <laughs> that would suck. Why is my man going there now? Both while the game is paused and when the clock is running to pause or unpause the game, click the date in the upper right corner or press the space bar. Use the plus and minus symbols to speed up or slow down time. I don't think you really care about how you speed up or slow down time. Tam. Crusader Kings takes place on a fully 3D map. You can zoom in and out using your mouse scroll wheel. No one cares about that. Uh, we're going to play a Bulgarian Tengri chief. Uh, being a part of the Bulgarian culture gives us no special features. And we don't really need to worry about that. We will read about this because I've never played as a Bulgarian or Tengri. Tengrism is a religion of the steppe peoples of Eurasia, especially Turkish and Mongol nomads, which is kind of cool because we got our little nomad tents back there. The chief god is Tengri, the creator god who rules the skies. Wait, I thought we were in the, uh, what is it, like Greek Orthodox territory. Shamanism and animism also feature prominently in the religion. Priests can inherit titles in this. Priests can marry. Rulers can raid infidel neighbors for loot. I love loot! We can raid for loot? Vassals do not mind if their levies are raised. Ten gray men can take up to three concubines. Dan, you the man. Rulers lose prestige if at peace for too long. Oh, I don't know if that can be reformed. There is and can exist no religious head. They're inferior conversion and vulnerable to non-pagan missionaries. Rulers cannot declare holy wars and women may hold spy master positions. All right, great story, bro. So let's go to Sophia. We're going to turn on the... Man, I am so not used to any of this. I've only ever played once or twice as myself, and I've always played as, like, a Central European guy, so this is all brand new to me. And we Slavs? I am slobbingly sometimes. Let's turn on the Realms map. You can see we are part of Greater Bulgaria. You can kind of see what's around us. Byzantine Empire, obviously. Possibly a threat. We click over here. Here's our guy, Chief Dan. We run the castle here in Sofia. We've got two guys under us. Uh, the guy who runs Vel Bazadi. This guy, Mayor Mom Chill. What's up, Mom? Don't call me that. You're my mommy. I'm going to touch your boobies and drink your milk. Ew, that's gross. Okay. <laughs> Dude, you're a freak. The fuck out, man. That's creepy. Um, And then, what's the other one? Oh, the, the bishopric here. Holy crap, I've never seen shamans before. What happened to your hat, dude? Is that your veil? Are you getting married? Congratulations. Ten Grey Pagan? I thought we were Orthodox. Oh, is this it? It's not a cross. I'm like, what the hell? Yeah, we're in Orthodox territory, aren't we? Or is this all Ten Grey too? I apologize for not knowing. No, these are Orthodox Christians here. Oh, we're... Uh, duh. Oh, man. Are you serious? So, all the other Slavic religion dudes are up here. Oh, that's not good. Oh, and they're different. No, they're Slavic Pagan. Where are the Tengris? Oh, they're the Tengris. Oh, the, the steps, yeah. Damn it. So, how did we get in charge here? Oh, man, that is not going to bode well, because the religion stuff does matter. So, let's switch back to that. Click on our little area, Sophia. Let's learn about our area. We, our heir is the king. Let's look at King Boris of Bulgaria. He is married to Queen Marjaja. He does not like Dan. He's probably jealous of his potatoes. Our king is an Orthodox Christian. It might be worth converting for us. Apparently, I need to reset the screen size because stuff is not on the bottom. What the hell? <laughs> Give me a moment. All right. Um, maybe I will have to do it in a higher resolution. We'll see if this works or not. Sorry for the technical glitch there. All right. Let's look at our man over there. There's Chief Dan. Uh, here's his information. A detached priest. All the stuff we did. Stewardship. Uh, is going to be important for what we're doing with keeping people happy and shit. But he is currently unmarried, ain't no wife. Where were we? We were looking at King Boris, right? Let's take a look at him. He's got a wife, Queen Marja. His heir, the king's heir, is Prince Vladimir of Bulgaria. 
and he doesn't like us either. <laughs> Let's learn about the laws of Bulgaria. It's agnotic, cognatic, ga gavel kind. Basically what it means, the titles of the ruler are divided among his children, with the oldest getting the primary title. If the ruler has no children who can inherit, the law defaults to primogeniture. You get no prestige penalty for having unlanded sons, and you can have a 30% larger uh, demens. Demens. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's, it's like the amount of, it's the territories you directly hold. Like the castle we hold in Sofia. Gavelkind is a very popular law with everyone except the oldest child. Destruction of titles while under Gavelkind succession is not allowed. Women can inherit, but only if there are no eligible males. So that's how inheritance works. So right now, if we die, that's not a problem. Well, if we die right now, the king gets all our shit, which I'm not a fan of. So we need to secure ourselves an heir. We're going to go right here and choose an ambition. Our ambition is hard to get married and have love times. Uh, we are going to... Let's go find a woman. Wow, this lady doesn't like us. Now, we could try and find somebody who has some sort of rank, but as we're just this little chief in Bulgaria, nobody super special is going to probably want us. So maybe we can look by stat. Maybe we can see if we can find a genius. You're honest. Uh, no, I want a genius. You're strong. I don't want a woman who's going to beat me up. Not again. Lustful. That's not a trait you want to get, because then she's going to be a whore. What about... Quick, because we want someone with good genetic traits. Otherwise, no. Well, then what would Dan like? We're going to go back here again and just see what... They suggest. She's from... No, Dan wants a hot chick. Isn't there a hot... Hot? Who's hot? No? Um, a track... What? You can't even get an attractive chick? Apparently I don't know how to spell attractive. <laughs> right? Uh, this lady is trusting. Ambitious. Chaste? No, we want someone who's gonna ha have babies with. How lustful? No, we don't want any fucking whores. I've done that in real life. I'll pass on that, thanks. What happens is when you get a wife, their stats will affect yours. You can see our stats here. On the right, I believe, are the ones that have been affected because of, like, people who are in our council or whatnot. All these women hate us. That's the number right there. How much they like. Now, how about we get a woman who likes us? And in fact, why don't we find... Yeah, we don't want a tangry chick. Let's find a... If we're really going to get into the orthodox religion, let's find some chick who's orthodox. So it's kind of these two chicks. Oh, this woman super fucking hates us. Kind of want to do that because it's funny, but no. How about this girl? Amelia, a court landed in Burlad. That means she's a bird. Not really. She's a gray eminence. She's good at spy shit. She's diligent. She likes to work hard. She's a fat gluttonous lady. That's all right. We'll have big boobs to touch. She's a coward. Good. She won't stand up against us, and she's ambitious. Whatever. Hey, baby, you want to marry some Chief Dan? Come on, you know you want some Chief Dan. Oh, yeah. And we're going to have to start the uh, time. Dan's going to get married. Oh, shit. Don't tell me people are going to war with us. Is our king at war with someone? Oh, he is. Defending against King Almos of Magyar in the conquest of Hungary. Uh, so, our king is fighting with the neighboring territory there. We're not really going to worry about that too much. When's our wife going to show up? Oh, we did. We finished our ambition of getting married. Um, Amelia and Chief Dan have gotten married. We can collect a royal aid duty to pay for the ceremonies. So, we can either have everybody pay us ten bucks. I should say a collection of ten gold pieces total. Or we can be like, no, nah, we'll just take the prestige. And we're going to take the prestige. Right there you can see we have negative 66 prestige. You need prestige to do certain things, like press claims and stuff like that. And the only way to fight a war is if you have a claim on a territory. To the great poet Dan, may you live in harmony and contentment. I accept your suggestion that Chief Dan, that's me! Well, our guy and Amelia get married. Who the fuck are you? Uh, you like his, her dad or something? No. Whatever. Thanks, Baldo. Thanks for the kid. Oh, she's an adult. All right. 
so Chief Dan fulfilled his ambition to get married. I forget what's that got us. I think some prestige. Next time we got a bunch of things to figure out. We gotta we have no air for the dynasty, but hopefully we're gonna start pumping it into that's a sexy lady <laughs> words. Oh she doesn't she doesn't hate us as much. She is not attracted to the fact that Chief Dan is a hunchback though. And an infidel. Oh, because we're a different religion. Well, we might work on that. We might try and convert. Either way, I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching. And um, sorry the screen resolution thing didn't work like I wanted. I can't believe they didn't set it up for 720. Whatever. Oh, I see why everyone does it 1080 style. Goodbye, everybody. How do I turn this off? Oh, I'm flying.